So you want to create a dummy output in our Linux box? Let me show you how. Let's learn with me. What is the use case for this? So for example, you have one monitor or two, and you want to add an extra one for to output for somewhere, for example, for the network. I'm going to use desk screen as an desk screen as an example. This can be used for desk screen, OBS. So you want to have an extra output to output to somewhere and you don't have it physically or you don't want to, to, to take a physical port on a graphics card or whatever. So in a nutshell, you want to have a dummy output, a dummy monitor output on your Linux box to output, for example, desk screen, OBS or other pieces of software. I'm going to show how to create a dummy output in your Linux box. I know you can have a piece of hardware, a dongle that allows you to to have just that. So you can have a dongle that will just you put in on in your your in your graphics output, and it will just fool the graphics card that it has an output there, but it doesn't. But this is completely based on software. It's more flexible and it's free to use. It can you can use it right now so i'm going to show you two methods to to do this okay i'm going to show you first here in a situation where wow because it this this method I'm going to show you it's very safe because it it, it things just go wrong you just reboot the machine here and it's done this is not saved anywhere you can revert this at your liking and maybe it's some the preferred way because of that because it doesn't write nothing definitive so if everything goes wrong you can just um reboot the machine and everything goes reverts back okay so let me show how the screen shows right now so the screen okay oh of course this is not the screen i just never mind so i'm going to open the screen this the screen is a, a good example i'm going to copy the link here I'm going to connect, I'm going to allow, and going to select, select the entire screen. As you can see, I only see one screen right now. So I, I had to share the same screen I'm, I'm seeing now, which is not bad, but what if I want to share a separate screen, something I can drag windows to, okay? So let's, let's try that. So let's call, close the screen for now. So what I'm going to do here, it's first first run X, X render, X render, X render. I don't know how to tell, how, how to, speak this anyways this is the one i'm using right now my physical output and i have two others that are disconnected okay so it, it, this is funny because your graphics card or your x runner can show you outputs that you don't physically have physically have um here it's it's a uh, integrated graphics so it's my intel cpu so next you're going to add a mode uh, the mode is the resolution you want to use um i use full hd it it, it kind of works for me it's fine it just a good a good way to do this it just it just works you can add your custom one and of course i'm going to choose an output of the free ones so my hdmi 2 it's free it has nothing connected so now i can see the mode so again if things go wrong you can just reboot your machine everything goes back to what it was so this is not 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 permanent okay next you're going to do this which is the output you you are you are using the mode you just added or one of the modes you just added and where physically you want to put this dummy output. So this is one is good. This one is going to be at the left of my current physical one. It doesn't really matter all that much, but if you say left, you need to drag your windows left. So you can imagine a dummy screen at the left side of your monitor. So it will just magically, magically be there. You don't see it, but that screen, for example, is going to see it and you can drag windows there. Okay, so that's perfectly fine, okay? So I'm going to output HDMI 2, mode, left off, da -de -da -de -da, and we are good to go. So your desktop is going to go a little bit a little bit berserk. And but physically I'm seeing everything is fine. My capture, it's the one that it's um now a little bit um off. So I need to fix my OBS here. This give me a second. Because now I have multiple screens. So let me see if I can fix this because my the OBS it's just going berserk it should be fine now it should be fixed now so now you can see all of that so for example now if I go to OBS I see two screens see it's really it's really funny here so if I add a screen here let's see uh, screen capture I'm going to do this one so I'm going to capture the dummy one and if I drag the window there, you can see it's showing up. See, I have no monitor on my left side. It's just the dummy one. But OBS can see it, see? And now I can actually um, 
drag windows there i have no more this is so funny i have no monitor there the monitor does not exist the screen is not physically there but i can drag windows there so it it exists at the eyes of the system see i can actually drag it there it's <laughs> really coolly cool so i'm dragging the window to a monitor that does not exist <laughs> it's actually crazy so i'm going to cancel this i'm going to cancel this um i just added so can guys go back to normal it's it's actually very interesting so let me add just let me add it again so where where the hell is it um screen capture two okay i can again i can select the second one there i can drag it it's so fucking weird man but it works okay cool so let me delete this one. I don't. I don't need it. Let me minimize. So head style, you done. So now you just do X render, and we are uh, kind of. Um, it's there, and it's a second output. So if I go to the screen, you can see that it will show up. So let me copy this back to my browser. Now I'm going to allow entire screen. Now you can see both. You can see both screens. You can just share the fake one, and we are good to go. So everything you drag here, it's going to be shown up as the dummy screen. It's perfectly great. So I'm going to. You, can, you will not be able to see this, but I can see my dummy screen, and I'm dragging windows there. I'm dragging here and seeing uh, here in my other PC. I can show you then when I when I switch PCs. So this is a very a great method to do. It's non-permanent and you can at, at any at, at any, any given time just divert this. So for example, if I want to stop this, I can just out, turn off the output. My screen is going to be a little bit berserk. The capture now it looks actually looks okay. And now we are good to go and everything is back to where it was. If you want, you just can reboot and everything should be uh, a okay. Okay, cool. Now, let's switch desktops here for a different PC. So let's go to here. So this is a different PC here. Uh, if I do the same thing in this PC, I can do X render. Uh, I, this is a little bit different. You spot, I have here some some magic magic happening, but for example. Let's say I want to use DP0. I want to add the mode to DP0 in this PC. So let's try to do that. So DP0. So let's do uh, X render. Um, I forget the exact syntax, but I can check here. Okay. X render minus minus add mode DP0 minus minus mode. And this should be, I mean, good enough for now. Not the minus minus mode. It's, it's like this. You see, I get this uh, this error. Uh, some people might get this error using these methods. Uh, this is this card. This PC has a, an NVIDIA card, and NVIDIA cards may output something like this, and you will not be able because there are several reasons, technical reasons. It doesn't really matter the reasoning. So if you get this error, there is a work. There's a way you can fix this. But before I show you the, the how to do it, before I show you how to do it, um, be careful because if you do a mistake here, it's not as easy as using the command line X render where you can just reboot and everything is fine. Here you're going to write down a file and if you reboot and things are berserk, you need to fix the file. And if you don't have graphical output, you need to use a console and sometimes you need to use the recovery console. So if you are doing this make sure the file is okay make sure you know how to recover a system if the graphical output is not working properly because if you don't do this properly uh you will have no you will have you will have no graphical output uh, you can have you can try the control alt f2 f3 thing to get a non-graphical desktop and see if you can get a, a console back or you can SSH into this system and fix that. So make sure you have some fallback plan in place, okay? So make sure you can, for example, SSH into this machine so you can fix the file if something goes wrong or you know how to use a recovery console or you know how to use a controller F2. Well, if you mess up this part, 
you may have you may stop having graphical desktop functionality so you need to have some fallback plan uh, ssh probably is the easiest one but whatever works for you okay so if you do this strongly you may have to go there and tinker with the file and get it back get it back in functionally okay so you you were warned so now this is the file I'm going to create, okay? So you're going to the etc x11 sorg.dit file and you're going to create any file. It can be any number, any name.conf. I type 69 minus virtuscenes.conf, 69 because I'm a child and it's funny. Then you just type dash and a name.conf. So 69 virtuscenes.conf, it's the name I gave it. Just any number, if it is a unique number. If you need, first you need to check the contents of the folder and see what's there, okay? In this case, it's, it, I only had the keyboard one, so now I can just uh, I just added a, a unique number. In this case, 69, and then dash with the screens.conf. I'm going to get this file. You would create the file. I can I will put this in the description below so you can have a reference. It's just a reference. But before you before you do this, make sure you do tap X render X render blah, and find a disconnected output that you can use. I'm using, as you can see on the top left, at right there, I, I have DP1 and HDMI0. These are my two screens. So which means I have, for example, DP0 to use and DVI to use. I'm using DVI as my dummy output here, which I have nothing connected there. So DVI was was showing disconnected, like my DP0 now is showing this is, is showing disconnected. This is going to, my DVI is going to be my dummy output. Then I, I just create the file. And this is how it's done. So you see, I, this is especially useful for NVIDIA guys. Other under manufacturer people should be fine. You should be able to use X render as normal, like I showed you in this process. So this is the same thing for most of you guys. Then you tap, you you, you type in the connected monitors. So DP1, it's my physical actual monitor connected there. My HDMI zero, I have an actual physical actual monitor connected there. My DVI-D0 is the model one that it was showing as is connected, so I can use it for this. I like to use the, 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 the correct order. DP1 is my main, HMI0 is my secondary, and DVI-0 is my, it's my fake. It shouldn't matter too much, but it's not, it, my, my brain will wrap around this better. Next, I also divide it to add this. Which one, which one is your primary monitor and which ones are not your primary monitors, okay? The, my indentation here it's off it, it kind of bothers me right now so let, let me fix that it, it it doesn't matter at all but it bothers my brain so let me fix this oh i need to be root to do this that's fine so this is my just my brain getting completely obsessed by this fine it's fixed okay so this section here is going to help you identify which monitor is our primary and which ones are not so this is my primary monitor and these ones are my secondary monitors okay so make sure you find the names using x render put this in the order primary secondary dummy it shouldn't matter the order should not matter but it matters to me then you just do section monitor and then identify your primary output your your non-primary output so this is all great double check triple check make sure i have a backup plan if uh if the, the reboot fails to show the graphical desktop okay make sure i have a backup plan to fix the file in, in, in the easy way to fix this it's just to re remove the file from here just delete the file or move it from some don't delete it because you will lose it move the file somewhere else just make sure the file is not here reboot and everything is, should be back where it was just make sure i have a backup plan Reboot, this, reboot the, the machine, it should reboot as normal, it should boot as, you should notice nothing special and, until you come, for example, to our display and you can see your, your uh, extra monitor there. This is my extra monitor, this is my dummy one, okay? But it's, it's on the left, I can drag to the left, even though nothing is there, I'll show you in a second, it's my dummy monitor. When I'm not using it, I usually like to this to to this to disable it. I'm not going to do this now because it's going to make my desktop go a little bit berserk with OBS. But you just disable it if you're not using it. Okay. 
these res these resolutions are perfectly fine to me for my use case so I, yeah it's it's fine i just use the is when available and it's fine for HDMI output it should be it's perfectly fine for most use cases now let me put this to the side let me open that screen like I did in the previous example here. It's somewhere, let me close my my thingy. So let's put it here and there we go, okay? Actually my desk screen window was going to the dummy, the, the dummy one, <laughs> it was, it's funny. So but it's, it's here now. So let me copy this link and just and open it. Give him one second. I just need to apply a quick fix. I, for, I forgot to do. This is something of, of my of my own problem. My own problem. So don't worry too much. I forget to do this before, before, before. Cool. Let me close my extra window. I go here. I just click allow entire screen. As you can see, I have my extra screens here, and it's it's the screen does not refresh, but I'm dragging it to the left where my fixed screen is, and there it is. Okay, there is my dummy screen. Okay, it just it it just works. I can click there, and I'm sharing a dummy screen, and now I can I can see it. My window is getting dragged to my uh, dummy output on my other PC. Let me show you this in OBS. So if I go here. I can add a uh, video capture. This is fine. Not a video capture. I'm so stupid. Why I'm putting a video capture here, I don't know. Um, display capture. This is fine. I'm going to add my dummy one. As you can see, I'm dragging windows there. And he's capturing my dummy, my dummy monitor that I don't have this is awesome it works with their screen it works with obs and works with most other uh, pieces of software that can can make use of a dummy output so two different methods two different pcs many examples of how can you create a dummy monitor using just software and i hope you find this useful this is a highly requested video i have been getting if you have any questions, let me know, like, subscribe and comment, it really helps, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.